Hi there, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're all doing well today. I just felt led to just read through some scripture. I believe there's somebody who's going to watch this who really needs to hear this scripture. Um, it's out of Psalm 107. I'm reading out of the Passion Translation. The title of the psalm is God's Constant Love. So I'm just going to get into reading. Let everyone give all their praise and thanks to the Lord. Here's why. He's better than anyone could ever imagine. Yes, he's always loving and kind, and his faithful love never ends. So go ahead. Let everyone know it. Tell the world how he broke through and delivered you from the power of darkness and has gathered us together from all over the world. He has set us free to be his very own. Some of us once wandered in the wilderness like desert nomads with no true direction or dwelling place. Starving, thirsting, staggering, we became desperate and filled with despair. Then we cried out, Lord, help us, rescue us, and he did. He led us right into a place of safety and abundance, a suitable city to dwell in. So lift your hands and thank God for his marvelous kindness and for all his miracles of mercy for those he loves. <clears throat> How he satisfies the soul of thirsty ones and fills the hungry with all that is good. Some of us once sat in darkness, living in the dark shadows of death. We were prisoners to our pain, chained to our regrets, for we rebelled against God's word and rejected the wise counsel of God Most High. So he humbled us through our circumstances, watching us as we stumbled with no one there to pick us back up. Our own pain became our punishment. Then we cried out, Lord, help us, rescue us, and he did. His light broke through the darkness and he led us out in freedom from death's dark shadow and he snapped every one of our chains. So lift your hands and give thanks to God for his marvelous kindness and for his miracles of mercy for those he loves. For he smashed through heavy prison doors and shattered the steel bars that held us back just to set us free. Some of us were such fools bringing on ourselves sorrow and suffering all because of our sins. Sick and feeble, unable to stand the sight of food, we drew near to the gates of death. Then we cried out, Lord, help us, rescue us, and he did. God spoke the words, be healed, and we were healed, delivered from death's door. So lift your hands and give thanks to God for his marvelous kindness and for his miracles of mercy for those he loves. Bring your praise as an offering and your thanks as a sacrifice as you sing your story of miracles with a joyful song. It goes on, um, the, I'm stopping at verse 22, it goes on to verse 43, you can read that on your own time if you want, but I just felt that, you know, reading through that, it was so much of my story of just getting sucked into sin and being miserable and, and then finally coming to the end of myself, crying out to God. And his love and mercy just came and got me and rescued me. And somebody needs to hear that God's love is constant. As soon as we turn in repentance, he is right there to run toward us. Just like with the prodigal son. When he came to his senses, turn to God. God is right there. So maybe you're right now in a season where God's just bringing you to the end of yourself. Um, and really having you, you know know that he is the sad the thing that will satisfy your soul you know a lot of us try to satisfy ourselves through everything but god and then when we realize nothing fills that um god hole except for god himself um and we fully surrender to him he just runs with open arms and is right there to rescue us so i just want to pray for anybody who's like maybe in a season where they feel like they're um, just being brought to the end of themselves. Um, I just pray that we would all just turn and, and get on our knees and repent to God and and prioritize Him and and put Him in the place that's um, that's He's that's His place first in our life. Um, one thing that I feel like God had shared with me is that a lot of people are trying to find their purpose. And they are really focused in on what's God's will for my life? What's my purpose? And if you're focused on that, you're you're actually focused on the wrong thing. Because the more you try to find out what your purpose is without, you know, seeking God, um, you, you can get very led astray. Um, the enemy can use that kind of ambition, ambitious, um, uh, you know, seeking to to lead us astray but if we are seeking god if we are seeking god we are going to know our purpose 
he will reveal it to us. So just let's shift our focus from what's my purpose, what's the will of God to let me get to know God. Let me get in that secret place, get in that time with God and um, just get to know him, get to know his heart, get to know his voice. And um, I just believe too, the, the Psalm I read 107 is such a beautiful picture of what God is doing right now in the church and the revival that's going on and how God is really setting people free from demonic bondage that they, like for me, I didn't even know I had it, but I knew something wasn't right. I just thought, oh, what's wrong with me? But as soon as God started opening my eyes and I just humbly submitted and said, okay, Lord, like, what do I need to do? And he just led me on the path and is continuing to lead me on the path of freedom, just like I knew he's doing for many other people. So um, I just want to pray um, that we would just, yeah, like the, the Psalm said, we would cry out to God, Lord, help us, rescue us. And he will. So he loves that just like repentant heart and um, heart of surrender because he can really work with those kind of hearts that are just, you know, submitted and surrendered to him and um, really just seeking after him to know him more. So, you know, I don't think that um, any of us are perfect at that and we all need to just, it's a daily thing um, that we need to, you know, surrender to him and, and just seek his will, seek his face. You know, it says when we seek him with all of our heart, we will find him. So just, you know, whatever that looks like. I, I know for me personally, I have to invite the Holy Spirit to show me what that means because I even, you know, I'm, 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 we're all learning, you know, we're all learning this side of heaven. We're walking by faith, not by sight. So we need the Holy Spirit's help. And I think that's a good position to be in is like, I know I need you Holy Spirit to guide me in this because, um, you know, that fosters humility instead of like, oh, I have it all figured out. I don't need any help. So I just want to pray father in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for anyone watching this video, Lord. I just pray father that you would stir in our hearts the desires that you have for our lives, Lord, that you would lead us, Holy Spirit, to the Father, to Jesus. Open up that time in our lives that we can get still before the Lord and discern his voice, that we can learn what what's on his heart and that we can just pursue him, Lord, with um, all of our hearts. That's the first commandment. And I just pray that your church, your body, that we would that we would honor that in our lives, that we would put you first, Father, that we would desire you more than anything else, and that um, for those who are far off, Lord, that they would turn back in repentance in the mighty name of Jesus. I just pray, Father, that um, that you would set us on fire for you even more, and that those who are very focused in on what their purpose or what your will for their life is, Lord, that they would shift from that being their focus to having their focus be you and that as they learn to get to know you, that they will hear your will over their life. They will hear your voice. They will know their purpose because the more we get to know you, the more we know our purpose. And I just pray for all of us, Lord, that we would not forget that one of the main reasons we're here on this earth is to bring glory to your name, Lord Jesus, to bring souls into the kingdom, Lord, that you would, um, just give us the boldness we need. Baptize us with boldness, Lord. Baptize us with fire, God, to to just set people on fire for you, Lord, as we carry around the light, that it would shine brightly in the world. And Lord, that we would be the salt of the earth that would make other people thirsty for you, God, that as we go about our days, Lord, that you would just open opportunity in our lives to display who you are, Lord Jesus. Um, have your way, Holy Spirit, in our lives. We love you. We praise you. We lift our hands, as the psalm said. We lift our hands and worship you for your miracle wonders. And we thank you for all you're doing on the earth right now. And that we are born for such a time as this to be the end time church, to be the glorious bride that um, brings much glory to your name, Lord Jesus. So I just pray all these things in your mighty and amazing name, Lord Jesus, in your name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have any prayer requests, please um, write them in the comments below and God bless.